All right. I know this is backwoods as all get out. I know it is. But uh, let the haters hate. Whatever. Um, I have ground a lobe back on a cam. Um, I actually welded this lobe on. It, uh, it took some damage when an engine come apart. And, uh, anyway, I, uh, I welded it back on with some hard rod <clears throat> and kind of hand, hand cut it to where it needed to be. And then I made up this little jig <clears throat> and it is junk thrown together. You name it. I know it. Let the haters hate. Okay. Anyway, it, uh, it fights you, but it does the job. And I'm going to show you here in a second. Let me, uh, let me reset everything. Okay, so I don't know how in the hell I'm going to do this with one hand, but let's see if we can accomplish it. Okay. I'll lean on it. Okay, now to adjust it, pull this screw back, piece of all thread, partial turn. Lean into it again. Yeah, I know it's not perfect, but a guy can't do this. That right there is some redneck ingenuity and it works all i gotta do is take my polisher i've got a cam and crank polisher i can take my cam and crank polisher and polish that up once i get it fine cut i'll take uh i'll take a diamond and probably fix it to this somehow and run the stone back and forth so it squares it up and uh i'll square the stone back up that way the that way the cam itself is square and then just knock off the rest of it, <clears throat> polish it out, and it'll be ready to use again. All right, so I know this is redneck as hell. I've done a few redneck things, but let me show you. I've got a cam that was, it's a very expensive cam. Um, used I've seen they're like four or five hundred bucks anyway it's a diesel cam so it had a bad lobe on it <clears throat> and what I did was took some Brutus rod which is a hard rod it's harder than than 7018s um, and I took that Brutus rod and I, I built that lobe back up um, and then I took the lathe this is a pretty old very very used atlas lathe i mean it's it's quite used um it, it really needs to be put in the museum it's 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 wore out anyway i took the cross slide screw out of it put a spring on it used a damn strap to hold it nothing fancy um i built this jig in no time um what this is is um, a roller a roller lifter out of a, a LS Chevy motor. Um, I got tons of them laying around here. I've I've messed with those motors for quite a while. And then I've got a stone, just a Harbor Freight aluminum oxide stone. Um, I keep it dressed up. I've got a diamond. I've got a diamond dresser. I keep it dressed up with um, to make sure that this is square. Um, and so far, 
it's it's doing everything it's supposed to do. All I gotta do is turn the lathe on, and, and the reason I can do this is because there's two exhaust lobes right next to each other. These are on the same cylinder. Um, they're the same size, same ramp, all that stuff, and, and I'm using it to copy over to this one. Um, basically, it's a it's just a follower setup. Uh, like I said, it's it's <laughs> it's redneck as hell. Um, but all I've got to do is take my polisher. I've got a cam and crank polisher. I can take my cam and crank polisher. I don't know if it'll show the. You know, it's got a little bit of. Uh, Set, uh, grinding marks on it, but that's enough to polish out and it looks fairly square and and straight so um, I'm gonna take the polisher to it and and we're gonna we're gonna try to run it um, I, Again, I know haters are gonna hate but uh, this uh, this cam's very expensive and uh, I Think it's very expensive, you know four or five hundred bucks for a camshaft use is, is insane and I've got a call in to, to the dealership to find out what it costs but you know I've got this one saved almost so as soon as I'm done saving it I, I won't even worry about buying a cam I'll buy the rest of the parts put the thing together so anyway um, hate like whatever doesn't matter it, it's gonna work it just shows you what you can do with a with an old clapped out lathe you know this thing is I don't remember what the what the year of it is, but it's a pretty old lathe, and and uh, I do all kinds of craziness on it. But uh, anyway, a um, little bit of ingenuity and time, and I just saved. I actually I made myself money because I'm going to charge it out to the guy. Um, he knows what I'm doing, but so I'm going to charge it out to the guy, and and I'll make some money for doing doing this, and I'll probably make half of what a cam costs. So um, he'll be happy with it. All right, this is the, I guess, the end of this cam. Um, I'm tickled. I mean, this thing, look at it. That thing polished out. I mean, it is nice. I'll hit it with some finer grit, maybe. Maybe I mean that's what I polish about all my cams with is that paper so uh, emery cloth I think it's like a 320 or something, but man That's amazing Can you tell yeah, but look this don't matter the rocker doesn't ride there rides in the center and it's pretty narrow so I'm man Come on. Anyway, I'm tickled with that. Looks like I rounded my edges off just a little bit with sandpaper. I can fix that. I can fix that. Uh, I did measure. Um, and this is within three thousandths uh, of this one. It's individual rockers. It's still the same cylinder, um, but it's uh, it's individual rockers. So that three thousandths isn't gonna isn't gonna affect anything. So I'm gonna take a I'm gonna take a flat edge and try to square that back up real quick. It won't. Uh, maybe that's just the camera. Anyway, that's not going to affect anything. I like it. Turned out really good.